In this video, I'd like to show you how to test a mediation model. It means a model with mediators. Um, there are different methods to test uh, mediation um, and all are derived from Baron and Kenny 1986. So Baron and Kenny suggest that to test a mediation model first, we need to test whether there is a total effect. It means the model without any mediator or any other uh, variable between the x and y between the independent variable and the dependent variable so at the end we want to test the mediation model that you can see here but first we need to make sure there is a relationship between x and y or let's say uh, this relationship is significant you remember because when I introduced mediation, I said that um, initially um, researchers tested whether there is any relationship between X and Y. And then later we want to know more about this relationship. So we test, uh, we add mediators, let's say, to see uh, how this relationship exists, right? So uh, when there is a relationship, then we test the mediation. It means we add the mediator and then we test the indirect effect. So Baron and Kenny suggest that we test A first and then we test B. And if both are significant, then we have a mediation. Um, but there are some um, weaknesses. There are some limitations when you use Baron and Kenny. Um, read the material I have provided to know why we don't use Baron and Kenny anymore. I mean, we don't test A separately, we don't test B separately, and then, um, you know, conclude whether there is any mediation or not. So, but you, you need to understand the meaning of Baron and Kenny, I mean, the logic behind Baron and Kenny test. Um, so it's, that it just says that, first, check whether there is any relationship between X and Y, so remove all mediators, and this is called total effect model. So when you remove all these mediations, then just test this relationship, X and Y, if it is significant. So Baron and Kenny suggest that if it is not significant, you cannot test the mediation because mediation explains the relationship. So if there is no relationship, what do you want to explain? So if there is no relationship, they say, okay, if you are interested, later check the A and B separately if they are significant this means there is an indirect effect but they don't call it mediation but anyway so if there is really a relationship between x and y then they say okay now let's see how or why this relationship exists then we add me the mediator into the model and in the new model so you see this is c prime this is different from c so because part of the part of the effect of x on y which was we called it c now is going through m so c prime should be weaker than c right so so the path coefficient it should be smaller should be weaker so now uh, if c is established then we add the mediator now we test a then we test b so there are lots just, just like regression right so one regression here one regression. so this regression is just one dependent variable which is m and then one independent variable which is x then we have one more regression y is the dependent variable m and x are independent variables then we test uh, we, we check the results if a is significant and b is significant then we say we have a mediation and the last step in this method is we check the c prime because the value for c prime will be different from c because now we have added m and part of this path goes through m so if c prime is still significant we name this in the, we name this mediation partial mediation because this relationship this i mean the effect of x on y partially goes through m because c prime is still is significant and important um, but if m it is m if m is sorry if c prime is not significant anymore means m is absorbing you know significant amount of the relationship let's say all of it almost right so if c prime is not significant anymore we say we have full mediation means m fully absorbed the effect of x on y right so this is the difference between partial and full and so this is baron and kenny but as i said there are some limitations for example in a statistics we, uh, we do not want to test several times you know here we have one model we want to test all in one test one i mean 
one run. So um, as you can see, the, if you want to use Baron and Kenny, you have to split the model into two models, let's say, uh, if just for, just for this model. One is M is the dependent variable, the other one Y is the dependent variable, and then you need to qualitatively uh, mix the results. Means there are two different in there, two, two different path A and B, then we assume, okay, if both are significant, then uh, we have indirect effect. So read the text that I have provided. Then um, there is another method later developed, um, Sobel test. So in Sobel test, they said, okay, uh, we can compute the standard error of A and B as the as one standard error. It means we mix A and B using the Sobel test formula. And then we compute the standard error, we compute the path coefficient, and then we check whether it's significant. We divide it, the value by a standard error, and we check whether it's significant, right? Like for example, um, uh, like uh, you know, old uh, statistical test like Z, Z score, right? So if it's greater than 1.96, then we say okay, it is significant. Now, um, here, so what is Sobel test? They just mix these two, but again, the assumption for Sobel test is that distribution should be normal, and in most cases, it seems it's not normal. So there are some again arguments, and they said no, Sobel test is not that good. So if you want to be safe, use the third method, which is bootstrapping, bootstrapping. Um, so in the next video, I will show you how to use bootstrapping uh, to test your mediation model. So here I just wanted to tell you about Baron and Kenny and Sobel test uh, because you, when you read papers, you may, uh, um, you may see many papers still are using these methods or maybe some people want to ask you, some examiners or reviewers ask you, why didn't you use Baron and Kenny? Why didn't you use Sobel test? You need to understand the meaning of these, the, the, uh, the meaning of these tests and why we don't use them. So read the text I provided to know more about the limitations of this, these methods and watch the next video that I will show you how to test mediation using bootstrapping.